Hi, my name's Dr. Rachel Corman. I'm the feline specialist with Veterinary Specialist Services. And this short video is just to provide you with some information on the use of insulin pens in cats. We might have recommended the use of an insulin, pe uh, insulin pen for you if your cat has been diagnosed as diabetic. And the benefits of using an insulin pen is that it gives us much greater control over much smaller um, doses of insulin typically um, that we might be using in diabetic patients. There's three main pens that we use. This is the Sanofi Junior Star insulin pen for glarging and it's a reusable pen so you can purchase um, little cartridges of glargine that then are placed into the pen and we'll demonstrate how to do that. Um, and you keep this pen um, for as long as your cat is diabetic. It's important that you don't put the pen into the fridge as the cold of the fridge can affect the mechanisms of the pen and that might affect the delivery or the accurate delivery of the dosage of insulin. There's other pens available as well for Glargine insulin. So this is the Lantus Solastar and this is the Tejeo um, Solastar pens as well. And these are essentially disposable pens. So when you've used this pen up, you throw the whole thing out. So the one that we'll focus on primarily is the Junior Star pen. Um, and this is a really great pen because it's one of the few pens that allows you um, to do half doses of insulin um, here, which sometimes we might need to use um, in our cats. So when you receive the pen, take the lid off. This pen has been preloaded with a cartridge of, of insulin, but this is what your insulin cartridge will look like. Insert that here and you'll find that the pens will come with a very detailed data sheet as well. Screw this in together and you want to make sure that these two stars are aligning here. Next, you need to use special needles for these pens. So basically what you do is you push the pen in here and you screw that down onto the needle to make sure that it's attached to the pen. Now the needles that we're using here are the BD Microfine needles and the important thing to make sure is that you get a needle size or length that is long enough. So these are eight millimetre needles to make sure that we get right underneath the, the skin of the cat. Um, if we get shorter needles, then you may not deliver um, the insulin in appropriate fashion. So just make sure that you have eight millimetre needles for your cat. Next, what we do is remove the plastic cap. And then it's also important to note that there's another protective um, cover here from the needle. So this also needs to be removed. And then this is the sterile portion of the needle here that you'll be using to inject under the skin. Firstly, and we need to do this every time you give your cat their insulin, you need to prime the pen. And so what this does is it makes sure that there is insulin sitting um, within the needle here. So it's not an empty needle. And this is really important when we're using such tiny dosages in cats. So as you can see here, you have a little dosage window. And to prime, we're going to go to five units of insulin. We hold the needle upright or the syringe upright like this and depress the plunger. And what you'll see if you look up here is you'll see all of that insulin come out, okay? so. There's a little blob of insulin at the top here. So you just give that a shake to get rid of that insulin. If we look back at the dosage window here again, you'll see that that um, window has now returned to zero. So that means that you're now, the pen is primed and you're now ready to 
turn the dial to the correct dosage for your cat. So for example purposes, we'll say that our patient is on a two unit dosage. So we've turned to the number two here and we'll then inject um, the insulin into our cats. And we'll have another video that will show you how to inject, um, uh, how to give an injection to your cat um, shortly. So hopefully that's been a helpful demonstration for you. If you do have any questions at all, then please don't hesitate to contact us.